uh, contradictory messages here can only be defined and described in, in one way. Accurate. Welcome to another episode. To our regular viewers, thank you for the support. We really appreciate. To our new viewers, don't forget to like and subscribe. Our target is only a thousand likes. So come on guys, let's like the video. So heading into the 2023-2024 season, a player has scored 70 or more points in a single game just 13 times. Now thanks to Joel Embiid's 70-point night against the San Antonio Spurs, then Luka Doncic's 73-point outing against the Hawks just four days later, that historic club expanded to 15 occasions. Within the original group of 13 were Damian Lillard and Donovan Mitchell who did it last season, then Devin Booker, Kobe Bryant, David Robinson, David Thompson, Elgin Baylor, and Will Chamberlain. Will Chamberlain did it six separate times. Luca's historic game moved him to a tie for the fourth most points scored by a player in a single game in NBA history. So apparently, Stephen Smith called Luca's 73-point game disgraceful. This is what Jason Whitlock is talking about. So that we're all on the same page, let's first listen to what Stephen Smith said, then listen to Jason Whitlock. But in all seriousness, Long guys, show. in all seriousness, guys, Mike, let's not go overboard with this. The fans want this? No, the league wanted it. The league but wanted the it. League want? well, well, I just, they say it's because of the fans. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm saying the fans don't want guys getting mugged and no fouls getting caught. Right. Okay. But the fans didn't want what we saw last night in Atlanta. Did you see that? Are you sure? I mean, that was a layup. That was just listen. That was a it was like the All Star game. The, the Atlanta, the Atlanta Hawks. No wonder why y'all stink. Did you see how they played defense last night? They I did. mean, this is not. This is not Joel and B who played Billy Ball because you know what? You have a thin Victor Wembanyama on you. We understand that. We expect that. This is not a situation where Carl Anthony Towns dropped 58 in the first three quarters and then disappeared. It was an APB out for him in the fourth quarter and all of this other stuff. But the 58 points he scored in those first three quarters, a lot of those points, he was being challenged. This is not that. What transpired last night in Atlanta was disgraceful. It made me feel like, I, I mean, let's just go out and get somebody that don't want, you don't have to play defense? All you got to do is play offense. You don't have to play defense. That's what the hell took place in Atlanta last night. There's a difference. Don't tell me anybody wants that. No, you don't want to change it and go back to old times. But in the same breath, you don't mean for it to resemble the first three quarters at NBA All-Star Weekend, no, which is what last night looked like in Atlanta, Georgia. The Hawks, you should be ashamed of your damn self. You really should. Should. Stephen A's uh, contradictory messages here can only be defined and described in, in one way, accurately. Racist. He's got a racist double standard, and, and many people in the league, because the NBA is a black-dominated league, they share that view. We saw it. And, and I, I, I want to be careful because, you know, to some, I, I like and respect Kendrick Perkins. But, but last year, Nikola Jokic won the NBA championship and should have won his third straight MVP award. But Kendrick Perkins jumped in and played the race card on MVP voters. And basically, you know, if you guys remember last year, he, he, he basically said that voters or people were favoring Nikola Jokic because he's white and that put everybody in check. And the next thing you know, Joel Embiid won the MVP when everybody pretty much knows Jokic was the most valuable player and the Nuggets went on to win the championship and the Philadelphia 76ers bowed out as they have done throughout Joel Embiid's stay in Philly. There's this racism that is required, anti-white racism that is required in the sports media world for widespread success and acceptance. The message is being pushed out very clearly. The matrix, the Internet, that's what it rewards. Anti-white racism. They have designed a system for systemic racism. They've done that. And I'll be called an Uncle Tom and a coon for pointing it out. What I will not be called is a liar. I will not be called a liar. 